What is up guys, welcome to another video on my channel Hair Delicious and I hope all of you guys have been doing great. And as promised yesterday, I wanted to do a video on a biotech company who is actually in the pipelines of coming up with a topical solution to treating hair loss. Before I get into that, if you guys are new to this channel, please make sure to subscribe. I do talk about a lot of hair transplant topics and hair loss treatments currently in the market and in the pipelines. If you guys are interested in getting my ebook, I did write a ebook on the top 25 hair transplant doctors in the world. If you guys have trouble narrowing it down, make sure to check out the ebook in the description box below. And also if you guys want to promote hair growth using the derma roller, the derma roller is known to help promote hair growth with the aid of minoxidil. And I've been using this religiously for the past year and a half. It's actually, as you guys can see, there's no further hair loss. Um, I do use it to slow down and prevent further hair loss behind the implanted areas. So if you guys are interested, this is the 1.5 millimeter thermal roller. Check out the link below. So today in this video, I wanted to talk about a startup biotech company that is actually in the market of creating a solution that treats hair loss. And this company is called Samomed and it's in San Diego, California. They're trying to develop a molecule that selectively activates or inhibits the Wnt pathway, which is also another type of stem cell manipulation. And they also have different treatments in the pipelines right now. One of them is the treatment for Alzheimer's disease, androgenetic alopecia, we have psoriasis, degenerative disc disease, uh, osteoarthritis, and several other types of illnesses. The Wnt signaling pathway is made of proteins that pass signals into the cells. For lack of a better word, it pretty much tells what the cells to do. Now, Wnt signaling is also crucial for the maintenance of hair follicle stem cells throughout their entire life cycle, starting from the antigen phase all the way up to the resting phase, which is the telogen phase of the growth cycle. Now, hair follicle stem cells is how they retain the ability to regrow hair while they refrain from actually doing so during the resting phase. That's why during the telogen phase, the hair doesn't grow out while the antigen phase, you actually have hairs that continue to grow out. So this is all thanks to the wind signaling pathway. And so if the wind signaling pathway were to be reduced, this is what would eventually cause androgenic alopecia. And this is why people bald. Now, as you guys know, there's different things that cause male pattern baldness. Um, some of it involves uh, higher DHT level, but in this case, we're going to go ahead and look into what this company has done and what the wind signaling actually does as far as treating hair loss. Our bodies come with progenitor stem cells that are in charge of repairing and replenishing specific organs in our bodies. This also includes the hair follicles, which is another type of organ, and the mesenchymal stem cells can go and repair, uh, you know, things like the bone when it's damaged. And this process has to do something with the wind pathway. And these proteins pretty much tell the cells to spring into action. And by being able to dial up or down the wind signaling pathways or the various wind genes uh, or, or the processes, you can actually trigger any of these progenitor stem cells. The wind levels tend to go down as we get older. And that's why a lot of people end up getting diseases because we have issues with the wind signaling pathway. And a lot of the people who end up suffering from male pattern baldness is a result because of the reduced wind signaling pathways. Now, this function of the wind signaling pathway is also associated when it comes to Alzheimer's disease as well as a lot of different types of cancers. There's a lot of increasing evidence that does show that down regulation of the wind signaling pathway is associated with disease progression in Alzheimer's. More importantly, persistent activation of wind signaling through the wind ligands or inhibition of negative regulators of the wind signaling actually protects the cognitive performance in people suffering from Alzheimer's disease. Just from this fact, we know that there's a huge potential of not only curing androgenic alopecia, but also other different types of diseases, including Alzheimer's disease through the wind signaling pathway. And if Samomet can manipulate the pathway that makes these different progenitor stem cells react, um, they can actually slow down and even reverse these different types of diseases. Well, Samomet's topical is called SM04554, which is a liquid solution that is applied to the scalp and it's designed to counter androgenetic alopecia by activating the wind pathway. They went through different types of phases. Currently, they are about to start phase three, but phase one was a single center, randomized double-blind placebo control study on the safety, tolerability, and efficacy of various concentrations of topical SM04554 uh, in males with genetic hair loss. Dosage amounts were at 0.05%, 0.15% and 0.45%, which was administered for 14 days 
in a total of 30 people and a safety follow-up 14 days post-treatment. People who are suffering from a Norwood 4 to Norwood 7 were tested. So this is actually good for people who are suffering from a higher form of hair loss. So SM04554 appear to be safe, well tolerated, and potentially efficacious. Now phase 2 tested the efficacy and side effects. Samomed tested 0.15%, 0.25%, and the control group for 90 days in 30 people. The hair count change from day 90 continued to increase in hair count from 110.5% to 115 in one square centimeter in the 0.15% solution group. In the control group, however, hair count went from 114 hairs per centimeter squared to 111.5 by day 135. So remember the treatment stopped at day 90, but they still continued to monitor how this was affecting uh, the hairs up to day 135. We have at 0.15% group, the hair count increased from 104.9 to 115 and in the 0.25 solution, and hair count increased from 110.8 to 118.5. Similar results were seen on hair density. Baseline for the vehicle was at 6,161, but it dropped to about 5,700 at day 135, where the decrease is also seen from the hair count in the control group. And in the 0.15% went from 5,656 to 5,992, which is about a 5% increase. And the 0.25% went from 6,066 to 6,337 for a total of about a 4.45% increase. So this roughly translates to about a 10% overall increase in hair density from using SM04554 compared to not using it and continuing to lose hair. Now, 10% is not a whole lot, but it sure is better than nothing. And it, you know, the studies do show that it actually does regrow hair. So that is also a good sign. The only concern with this drug was the fact that for most drugs, when you do increase dosage, uh, you get more efficacy and the increased risk of side effects. For example, minoxidil shows a better efficacy at 5% than compared to 2%. And also for finasteride, 0.5% has a lower efficacy than somebody who's actually using one milligram of finasteride. SM0554 seems to have some type of sweet spot where a certain dosage seems to be kind of like the, uh, the trigger for causing the most hair regrowth. And the higher dosage of SM0554 did not really result in a higher efficacy. So phase two also consisted of a biopsy study where SM0454 appear to be safe and well tolerated. There was no serious adverse events reported and no significant differences were observed between the 0.15% or the 0.25% solution of SM04554 and the vehicle. Now, a few days ago, Samomed stated that the company has conducted an investigator meeting to initiate their upcoming phase three trials. So it's actually gonna take, I wanna say a few years to complete, but phase three is going to consist of the efficacy and monitoring of adverse events or reactions, as well as finding the appropriate dosage regimen. And earlier this month, they also announced that they closed on a $438 million in equity financing from the support of their investors, which would also help the company speed up whatever is in their pipelines and also you know some of their later stage programs towards commercialization and also expand on the existing clinical portfolio so that they can get it sped up to uh, a faster rate. Now, they are one of the highest rated uh, and valued healthcare startups in the US with a $12 billion valuation, which I think is huge. A lot of you guys were kind of disappointed that after phase two results, 10% of a hair increase wasn't a whole lot. But the fact is that it still regrows hair and I feel that it can be a better regimen or a better product if it's used in conjunction with some of the existing products such as finasteride or minoxidil. Uh, because they work totally on different mechanisms. SM04554 works on uh, manipulating the wind signaling pathway. We have minoxidil, which is a vasodilator, so it expands the blood vessels so that more oxygen, nutrients uh, can go into the scalp. And we have finasteride, which is a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, which lowers DHT levels. So I feel like if we were to use all of these things in conjunction of each other, or even just two out of the three, I think it would actually, a lot of people would see better results. You know, it's gonna be interesting to see what this uh, phase three is gonna entail, if there's gonna be better efficacy, because in phase two, they only studied it up to day 135. So after 90 days, they stopped using it, and then even after up to 135 days, after stopping it, they saw 
regrowth of the hair so this is something that i kind of look forward to this is also another interesting thing and i'm gonna keep my eyes open see if there's any updates and i'll let you guys know let me know what you guys think um if you guys think this is actually going to be successful when it comes to phase three uh please make sure to leave me some comments below make sure to subscribe if you guys haven't done so and i will talk to you guys next time take care